Go to the rectangular marquee tool in Affinity Photo. You can use any of the other selection tools as well. Go for new, feather, zero, and apply a selection. Just create a very quick selection. You can move that selection when you're in new mode. If you add another one, it will delete the existing one and then so if you're outside, you create it like that, then you've got that selection, the other one's gone. You can go to add and you can add around. So anything you cut, so you've got a selection there, go down and as soon as you go into that selection, that's it. If you add inside there, it doesn't make any difference, but you can do outside and move around and create those selections. Just drag out and like that. What you can also do is you can add outside. You don't have to go into the selection itself. So you can go around like that. So whole range of different designs can be created around the edge as well. It doesn't need to go into it, but you can. You can if you want to, you can just keep pushing it out further and further. You also you can go for subtract. Say you want to cut away the central part. So you just go like that. Just create a very quick selection like that. And that, just to show you, is just being cut away. So that's not modified by the gradient. And you can do around the edge as well. So again, subtract. If I want to cut away from there. Now, if you click by accident and you lose the whole selection, you can always go to select and reselect to bring it back. It's one of those weird features that just removes the whole thing. So I'm just going to deselect that de there, cut away there, cut there. And you can see as I do, I'm cutting away the existing selection. And again, I cut through there. And again, if I go to the grain tool so you can see it a bit more clearly, you can see the design there with all the breaks through it. Again, anytime, select and deselect. Then go there, go for new and add a new one. However, there's also intersect. One I don't use that often, but you can use it. So intersect, this time, if I start from outside and just drag, it creates a selection, but you don't see anything until you cross over into the selection you've already got. So that's the existing selection. And you see, if I go all the way out, you can see the whole thing that was there before. If I go back again, you can see you only get the part of the selection that's covered by this. So it's one that I use occasionally, but it's it's there's obviously some uses. However, let's just go for select and deselect. And again, new and create that. However, you see, this is a sharp edge. This is a sharp edge selection because I've got a feather of zero. So if I apply the gradient, you can see it very sharp. Go back to the section. Now go for feather, say something like 28, 45, etc. And go for add. So with add, I'm just going to add to that. And you can see it slightly rounds. Got a slight round in there. And it also sometimes will suddenly move or adjust slightly as a that's because of the feathering. So if you want to, let's just quickly create a gradient again. You can see now you've got the blurriness, you've got the shape, the sharp edge there for this shape, but it's only for the parts that you've just added with that feathering that will be blurred. Let's again select and deselect. Again, go to the tool. If I go and create this new one, that will be used with feather of 45. I can add to it and they will all be blurred. So again, if I go there to the gradient tool, apply it like that, you can see the result there. New, you go to new, you can move around. But how can you scale them or rotate them? Unfortunately, there's no select feature for transform. However, there is an edit selection as a layer. So you go into there, go up to the move tool, and then you can move this around. So just move that around, reposition it, scale it, etc. Shear it, if you want to do that as well, etc. So you can do a whole load of different things, come out of it, and you can see again, you've got your selection there. And you can continue, go back to the rectangle marquee tool, and then go for, not obviously new, but say add, so you can add to that existing design and create again more. And again, using that feather and anti-alias set on. And again, gradient tool, apply it like that. And again, you can always go back if you want to, to the new and move it to a different position. Again, apply the gradient like that to there as well, and so on. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.